Hey boys, welcome back to round three of our Raiders career season 2020. Going to be taking on the Storm in this uh, important clash. You know, obviously early in the season, we, we got the we got our first win last round, but we also got our first loss in the first round. So we're uh, we're even Stevens at the minute. So this is this is a this is an important game. Taking on the Storm, obviously, it's going to be a tough game at Amy Park. On a on a night as well, so it's uh, it's gonna be tough. We'll look at their um lineup quickly, see if there's any uh, notable changes. Looks uh, Felice Cafusi in the front row for some reason. A little bit strange, but you know I'm sure he sure he can probably handle it. Big Sam Cassiano still there. That's the one thing I've always I, I, I'm still surprised Cassiano didn't flourish at the Storm because. Cassiano was one of the best props running around at the Bulldogs, and then he went to the Storm. He he trimmed up, he got fit, and then he he barely saw any game time. I, I it, honestly one of the weird things in uh, in rugby league. I I I was surprised. I thought Cassiano was going to be huge for the Storm, but I don't know if he was injured. I think he was injured for a little bit, um, which would explain some of it but yeah he just I don't know fell out of form maybe losing a lot of his size probably wasn't the best idea um but uh yeah still still a weird one for me still a weird one I, I miss I miss the big Cassiano <laughs> he was great to watch dude so yeah a bit of a shame what happened to uh to big Sam as uh the the kick for touch unfortunately I was worried because the wind was pushing against us so I I, I didn't want to miss kick it and I didn't put enough uh, juice on it. So yeah, shocking, uh, shocking bit of play there. And then uh, this pass, absolutely shocking. Then we try to, <laughs> I feel like maybe a little bit harsh for a forward pass, but we only have ourselves to blame. That was absolutely awful. So it's still nil all 20 odd, well, 30 minutes gone in this game, but it has been extremely scrappy from, from both sides really, but we have been awful we made some terrible mistakes and then this this last one's going to cost us dearly with uh joshua adokar scoring and uh adokar his uh his future is still i actually don't know I, I actually haven't really kept up with it but i know for a while there adokar it seemed like he was wanting to leave the storm but you know a lot of a lot of the rumors and and stuff like that in in rugby league are just that they're just rumors you know some of them uh probably more often than not is uh chance back at fullback here and scores an absolute beauty of a try it was great uh, great d great defensive efforts and uh the kick was poor clockstad able to capitalize so great stuff but um it's most times you know journalists get a you know most people don't like journalists and stuff but generally when they break a, a rumor or a story it generally f comes out to be true but uh there are moments where they they do sort of make up stuff or for a little comment or something uh something that's happened um but yeah i don't I actually don't know what's going on with uh Adokar, if he is staying at the storm or if he is uh moving on not too, not too sure honestly is that is beautiful play from uh AJ Brimson on the field automatically we look better in attack <laughs> just getting across the field and fired a beautiful ball to uh John Bateman just the, the silky skills of uh of Brimson as uh Leilua back in the team gets uh, a rare touch in this match he hasn't really seen much of the footy um as uh now who is this Theo through the gap throws the dummy onto Brimson that is a absolute special of a try our two recruits Theo, Fargis, and uh, linking up with uh, the flyer in Brimson. That's what I like most about Brimson so far. He's always there, and he's always in the right position for the support play. I feel like most times the dummy halves are not in good positions, but for some reason, Brimson just finds himself in a good position to actually take a... Uh, a ball from a line break and, and score. It, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch. So <laughs> it's working out an absolute treat so far as Cameron Munster almost gets to the try line. Held up though. So we uh, we do have that lead 12-6. We don't want to lose it instantly, but great uh, great kick pressure again there. Brimson is able to sweep on the loose ball as uh, Bateman gets a ball onto Kotrick back to Croker. 
almost uh, away there, but good scramble from the Storm. Never gonna, never gonna die wondering. Storm are a team you definitely have to show up for. Is again beautiful play there from Brimson on to Soliola. That is, it was a great run from Soliola. Great ball playing from Brimson again. He just he drew in the players, got him one on one, able to brush through of the tackle and and scores again another another fantastic try and it, it's it's just been a trend when brimson is on the field in the second half we we just look we just look better dude i don't know i mean i can probably i can probably attack a little bit better when hodgson's on the field but i don't know it just it just feels more natural um with brimson at the minute so yeah hopefully hopefully <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I don't know where Bailey Simonson was. I guess he was in the middle of the field looking for a run. But, um, yeah, Leilua, um, no awareness, apparently. Just uh, scooped it off to a nothing. And then, on the back of that, Munavalu is going <laughs> to get his way through the line. And I don't know what we did with Nickel Clock's dad. We made him look like an absolute goose. He, uh, I, I don't know. I think I... <laughs> I think I was trying to mash buttons to like switch player because switching player is an absolute nightmare in this game still. Um, but I might have just accidentally dove at the at the player. Is uh, Brimson again here finds a little room to move straight through the straight through the defense. So on a bit of a roll again, second tackle back of a switch of play there. Beautiful ball onto Joey Leilua and uh, Farges having a having a blinder as well. He's been a bit. Um, well, no, he hasn't been poor, but uh, a little bit quiet in the first two games. Hasn't seen too much of the footy. We do we do like to attack the left hand edge. I don't know what it is. It just feels it just feels more natural to go right to left. Even though in real life I'm a I'm a left left right ball player. I prefer that. But on the game here, right to left, it, it's it just feels more natural. So a lot of times our right side. Don't see too much of the footy, which is a bit of a shame because Theo, Leilua, and Simonson is a pretty, pretty nasty combo out here. So, got to, got to learn to to switch it up sometimes. As uh, we do give away the penalty, and the Storm, very confident that they're going to win the game. Then <laughs> went for the two points and thinking they're going to score two tries at the end to to win the game. A little bit ambitious, I would say so. <laughs> probably the safe option and the the correct option is going for the try and then try to level it up but um they were confident they could score two tries in the the last five ten minutes but um we have snuffed that out pretty quickly here is poor play poor play on the <laughs> on the side there nick kotrick lost his bearings and uh and just threw it into into well he went into touch tried to throw it back but couldn't get it done as, uh, this is probably going to be the last play of the game. It's a great kick from Cameron Munster. Good lord! Thankfully, it was the last uh, last play. It was a fantastic kick. Brimson, though, man of the match. That's a fantastic effort for a utility player. Looking at his stats there, absolutely incredible. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.